Great then, Grant. It, it comes thick and fast, doesn't it? So you had a, a big game at the weekend, and in its own way, another big game coming up. It is, yeah. It is. No, it's, it's, it, listen, it was a good result the weekend, of course. We we're pleased to be in the next round. Um, we look forward to the draw tonight, but our, our focus switched straight after the game. You know, some of the lads were in, we were we're preparing um, for, for another tough game at Luton, who flying in League Two, um, you know, play a nice brand of football, scoring a lot of goals. Um, so it's a, it's a tough challenge for us, um, but one we're looking forward to, we'll go there, um, we'll hopefully give a good account of ourselves and um, it's one of our aims this season, we want to go as far as we can in the checker trade, you know, it's it's one of those competitions where nobody seems interested in um, and then all of a sudden you win tomorrow and you're, you're two games from Wembley, um, you know, and you, you'll get a, some of the fans starting to come out and support you then, so um, it's an aim for us, we want to go and play at Wembley, it doesn't come around very often. Um, but we know we're under no illusions it's going to be a tough game at Luton. Yeah, the arch is just starting to nudge over the horizon. You can begin to see it. And with Luton, I guess, a side where they do a lot of the things that, that you really like in a football team. They they play football in a way, I guess, that, that really impresses you. Yeah, they do, yeah. They do, and they're, they're quite fluent in their movement. They, they, they pass, they play between lines. Um, you know, they've, they've got goal scorers in their team. They've got people who score goals. Uh, so, they're, so they're going to be a, a threat to us. Whatever team, you know, the manager puts out. So um, we, we'll go there in, in good spirits, though. We're going there in good form ourselves, really. Like I say, over the last 18, 19 games, our form's been excellent. Um, so we need to go there and make sure we, we keep our form, keep our consistency. Something that's been questioned over, to be fair, um, during probably 68 weeks and, and, and fairly, really. So, But I think we've turned the tide on that now. I don't think anyone can talk to us about our consistency anymore. Um, I think we've quite quite rightly turned that over the last 18-19 games um, and we, not, we want to make sure we try and continue that now for the rest of the season. Is the philosophy for you heading into this one much the same as the, the other games? You may make one or two tweaks to your side but, but broadly keeping with the, the team you've been using in the other competitions? Yeah, possibly. Um, Chris Forrest is suspended so he won't play. Um, Ricky Miller is suspended so he won't be involved. Um, so it's yeah, th th there may be one or two little tweaks to it, but mainly it'll be a strong team. Um, you know, the, the Wigan game, we'll worry about that Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. This, the, the, our main objective is the game at Luton. Um, we'd love to see some of our fans that tr made the trip to Aston Villa to come and try and support us, because like I say, it's it's starting to get the to the end of the competition really. And if we can if we can go to Luton and get a result, like I say, it's not it's not going to be easy. Then we're close. We're two games from Wembley, so the, lad, the lads know, and, and they were, they were well um, told this morning about the importance of this game. Um, you know, it's it's a it's a big game for us, and we're looking forward to it. Yeah, does that help the fact that you look at the stats, you look at Luton's home record, the way they've been playing in the league, even the account they gave of themselves at Newcastle at the weekend? Nobody can be in any doubts that they're a, a really decent side, and it'll be a good game. If there was any problem, maybe with keeping the, the motivation after the weekend, having, having Luton, it's a, a really handy tie to have. It is, because it's a tough game. It, it, you know, sometimes it, the motivation of coming back off the back of a, of a good win, um, you can be a bit demotivated and um, the opposition's not as good as, but I, I'm telling you, this is just as tough as Aston Villa, if not tougher. So um, we know that, and the boys know that as well. So um, we have to be as good as we were against Villa. To, to get into the next round and uh, we worked hard yesterday, we worked hard today, um, everyone's focused and prepared and ready to go, um, you know, we've seen uh, clips from their game against Newcastle, we've seen clips from their game against Lincoln, we've, we've watched the game against Port Vale when they got beat 4-0, so we know the, the strengths, we know their weaknesses, um, we've got to make sure that we just do our job and go about our job correctly um, and then we give ourselves the best chance of winning. Is Jack Baldwin ready to come in and have a start if you want to change things around at the back? If you wanted to give Stephen Taylor a rest, is Jack ready to go or would you have to tweak things differently? No, Jack's ready. Jack's ready to play if, if we need him. So, um, you know, he's trained, trained well over the past three or four days, Jack. And, uh, you know, he big, big player for us. He, he's a skipper of the football club. Uh, big character, I've told you about this before. So, um, it's good that we've got everybody available, really, apart from... The two boys who I mentioned are suspended and, and going on, so we've got a decent squad and, and a good squad to pick from. Um, you know, it's 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 never easy with with the amount of games we've had um, to to just have uh, going on Edwards injured. It's been 
it's been we've been we've been lucky really. Um, but testament to the, you know the, to Ben McKenzie uh, for for the ways he's, he's got the boys and the fitness. We were speaking this morning. They haven't done a we call it an overload session on a Tuesday. They haven't done a fitness session for <laughs> since since October. With the amount of games we've done, so tremendous the way the boys and the conditioning are in. So we're really delighted with that. Yeah, and talking about conditioning, there was so much to reflect on at the weekend. It maybe got overlooked a little bit when we were chatting to you, but. Liam Shepherd coming back, having missed a number of games, you must have been absolutely delighted not only with the way he played, but the the energy that he showed. Well, that shows that just shows you, doesn't it? You know the amount of time Liam's been out, it shows you the work that goes goes behind the scenes to get uh, scenes to get the, to get these players up to fitness and and ready for ready for games. You know we we can play the we haven't had a twenty three game for a while, but. In my personal opinion, those friendly games, 23 games, the, the boys don't really get anything out of them, really. You know, they, they can get more on the training pitch with Ben, with me, with David, and sessions that we do in training sometimes are harder in games anyway. So that's why, that's the whole remit of our of what we do here and our, our cycle, that we make sure training's harder than a game. So when they play a game, it becomes easier. Um, yeah, so I'm, I've been really pleased with, with that, and that's why I'm saying that there'll be no problems with Jack. Jack Ball, and there'd be no problems with Junior Marias now that they might have trained. He's had that if they did want to, if, they, if they did want to use him, then there'd be no problem. With um, Jack Marriott tomorrow coming up against his his former club, can you use that as a a bit of motivation? It often tends to be the way, doesn't it, that you you manage to to get a goal against one of your old sides. I guess for Jack at the moment, though, just getting a goal in a game is is run of the mill. Well, I hope you're right. I hope he does get a goal, um, but I think it's just another game for Jack. I think. Uh, you know the boys all play against their the teams that they've played against. You know through the, through the league campaigns and stuff like Alex clubs, etc., etc. Um, for us this year, we we seem to keep getting hit by ex players, don't we? They keep <laughs> scoring against us, but um, hopefully Jack can go and score. But it's more important that we put on another, another good performance because if we do, then we give ourselves the best chance. You know, just touching back on the Aston Villa game, I knew we'd get a chance. I knew we'd score just because of the way we were playing. Um, in the Doncaster game, uh, it was one of those games we we just we were hoping that we could get the one 0 because we wouldn't have scored the MK Dons. We wouldn't have scored in four or five days, but it continued playing. So we knew uh, against Villa we'd score because of the performance, and that's a, a catalyst now for us for the rest of the season. Yeah, and, and and so much of the philosophy around football is being able to handle that, isn't it? In that unless you're fortunate enough to be Manchester City, it's very unlikely that you're going to go through a season dealing with sides week in, week out. The important bit is when you have a setback, that it, it doesn't linger for too long. And increasingly, that seems to be working for you. Yeah, we've, we've, we've done that quite well. This, well, we've done it very well, actually. I think, um, I think once this season, we've probably lost two, possibly three games in a, in a row, including league, maybe once, I think. But not many times have we, have we you know, two disappointing results. We haven't followed it up with a good one. Um, so the, the the group I've told you before I've got great belief in this group and um, they need a bit of help of course they do and we're looking uh, in the window but uh, at the minute I'm, I'm really pleased with them all and, the, and they're all working working their socks off for the football club and they're getting better and better. Yeah, I suppose I ought to ask about the the transfer window. No little exclusive for us this morning. No, no, <laughs> nothing. We're working. We're working hard and I'm hoping hoping that we we could have one or two done in the next couple of days. Um, you know, it's uh, it's always difficult. You know, you, you, there's a lot of clubs after similar sort of players and the same players at times. So um, our hats and our hats fairly in the ring with a few. Um, we'll be having conversations over the next today and and tomorrow and, and Wednesday with with one or two players. So um, I'm hopeful that we can get something done. Yeah, and just to finish, uh, another word on Jack Marriott. I think the the stat being thrown around at the weekend that only Harry Kane of all the English players playing in English football has, has scored more goals so far this season. Um, that is a, that's a nice little stat to have, isn't it? It is, and, and Gareth would be mad not to take him to the World Cup, wouldn't he? <laughs> <laughs> no, listen, he's, he's done great, Jack. He's, uh, and I said after the game that he misses chances. You know, he does miss chances, but one thing he doesn't do is he doesn't sulk about it. He doesn't let it bother him, um, and he keeps going. And, you know, that's, that's a tremendous trait to have. Um, I think Mikel Smith was similar, wasn't he? You know, he, he missed chance after chance after chance, but when he, when one went in, he, he seemed to go and get another one or finish it off with his hat trick. So you know, I, I'm really pleased with Jack. Uh, such a grounded boy. Uh, doesn't let anything 
um, get in the way of his football or, or his training for that matter and um, we're delighted to have him.